This is Jason Lachlan. I'm here with Rashida Ahmad. She's a Lyft driver and we are driving around Center City talking about the work that she does. Um, real quick, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this about eight months now. And I think, you know, what's interesting um, to a lot of people is that being a woman and doing this is something relatively new. There's very, very few female cab drivers in the city. Right. And there's actually a fair number of people doing rideshare uh, who are women. Um, what do you think is different about this for a woman than a man doing this kind of work? I think for women, you actually get a better reception, especially when I'm doing late, late night pickups, like the after club, after party crowd, um, especially with females and younger females, they feel more comfortable that their driver is a female and not a male. Uh -huh. What kind of reactions do you get from uh, from female passengers? Just a, a lot of, oh, thank goodness you're a girl. Thank goodness you're a lady. I didn't want a guy. Um, you know, even though they do a lot of screening for the drivers, I think it's just a, a re regular safety concern, safety issue for females when they're getting in a stranger's car that time and hour, and sometimes they're intoxicated and things like that. So they just want to feel that extra security. Speaking of safety, do you ever uh, worry about your own? No, not at all. I've actually bartended way longer than I've been driving, and I I feel like I'm in more danger bartending than I am driving. How do you uh, how do you deal with male passengers? You ever have any guys give you um, attention that's unwanted or? Not really. You know, sometimes you'll get an occasional buzz guy who thinks you're pretty or thinks you're cute. You know, and they make jokes. You make jokes back, and um, I've never felt uncomfortable. I've never had any time where I felt like I even needed to put anybody out of my car or needed to correct anyone. I mm. think everybody understands that this is a service um, and they're relatively decent people. They approach you and speak to you properly, so no real problem. What, what kind of appeals to you about this kind of work versus an office job or like being an employee somewhere? I love making my own hours, um, coming and going as I please. I can do drives in between running errands if I want. Um, there's like a way on the app where if I'm starting from one neighborhood and I have errands to do in another neighborhood, I can set that as my destination. And if there's somebody who needs a ride along the way, I can make money on the way to doing my errand. And is there any kind of difficulties with the insecurity of the work as far as how much money you're going to make on a given week, being sure you're going to bring in enough to pay the bills? Not for me because I've been a bartender so long. I'm used to actually just making a budget and learning how um, to work through the slow periods as well as the good periods. I think um, for anyone who's going to do this kind of work, you just have to have a little bit of financial discipline um, and do some strategy. You've got to plan one of the good nights to work, one of the good times to work. I don't typically like driving in the afternoon because I'm sitting in traffic so much. And that's why people are, you know, aren't you worried about working early in the morning? No, because there's less drivers. So I typically get better rides and more rides. And we talked about this before. Can you talk a bit about your concerns about somebody making a mess in your car? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely afraid of puke. It is my biggest fear is that anyone <laughs> will ever get in my car and puke. I'm totally going to puke with them. So please don't do it. Just don't do it. If you're feeling sick, do not call a driver. Be kind. Um, I, I know Uber has a cleaning service. I'm not sure about Lyft and you know, you're really going to upset somebody because this is our personal vehicle. <laughs> and uh, last question, if any women are thinking about doing this, to make a little bit extra money or, for, you know, actually as a career, any advice or suggestions or? I mean, I'd say just go for it, especially if you're a people person, if you like to talk to people. Um, and even if you're like more reserved and more kept to yourself, you'd be surprised at how many people, they just want to get to where they're going. They don't have to have a long conversation. They'll say hi and they won't speak to you again until they get out the car. And there's other people who get in the car and tell you their whole life story. You've just got to be kind of the type of person that can go with the flow. All right, nice. Thanks. Good talking to you and thanks for the time. Thank you.